Assalamu alaikum and welcome to today's math lesson. Today we are starting a new topic which is centimeters and meters. This means that we are going to learn how to measure things, how to measure things all around us. So let's get started. By the end of this lesson, you're going to be able to say, I can use a centimeter ruler to measure objects. For today's lesson, we need my math book, volume 2, pencil, a meter, and a ruler. So, a meter is something like that. We're going to use the side of the centimeters. You can use one that looks like this or anything similar that you have at home. And for the ruler, we are going to need a ruler and we're going to use the centimeters of the ruler. Okay, so look for the ruler. Look for a ruler that has a centimeter side. So, go grab these things, and then let's continue with the lesson. Let's start with mental math. Pause the video. Do these problems as fast as you can. And then, let's continue with the lesson. Alright, let's check our answers. 10 plus 10 is... 20. I'm sure you guys got it right, but let's just check together. 20 plus 20 is 40. 30 plus 30, 60. You can skip count by tens, or you can use the other strategy where you just add the tens and then you add the zero. So 40 plus 40, or you can say 4 plus 4 is 8. And then you add a zero. So 40 plus 40 is zero. 50 plus 50 is, or 5 plus 5 is 10. And then you add the zero, which will make it 100. So these are the answers. Let's read this problem. It's a problem of the day. Last week we celebrated Eid. So let's see what happens to Hind. On Eid, Hind's dad gave her 50 dirhams. Her mom also gave her 50 dirhams. How many dirhams does she have all together? You can also think about your own idea, your own money. If your dad gave you 50 and your mom gave you 50, how much do you have now? And it's easy peasy. 50 plus 50 will be 100 dirhams. 100 dirhams. Now, you really need to go and watch these two videos. They are very important for you to understand this lesson. So please pause my video. Go watch these two videos. Uh, the you can find the links down in the description or you can copy and paste them from the PowerPoint. Go and watch them. Make sure you finish both of them and then come back to the lesson. Okay, those videos are great. Now, let's review. It, you have to use a centimeter ruler to measure in centimeters. You can use a meter stick to measure in meters. There are a hundred centimeters in a meter. So what does this mean? Sometimes we can measure small objects using a ruler. A ruler has a side that has centimeters. You can sometimes Instead of the word centimeters, you're going to find the letters CM, which also means centimeters. But if you need to measure something big, like a table or a high chair, you will use meter stick, which measures in meters. Just the, like the one that I showed you in the beginning. There are different types of meters. Those, you can find one as a big ruler. Or 
as a tape, like the one I showed you at the beginning, the things that we need. Those are measuring in meters and they are used to measure big things. A meter is also represented by the letter M. So sometimes you will find the letter M, which means a meter. Or you will find the letters CM, which means centimeter. Now, what happens then? We also have to know that one meter is equal to 100 centimeter. One meter is equals to 100 centimeter. Now, for example, if you have a table and the table is big, you need to measure it with a met meter stick, right? Or with a, me a, met a meter tape. So let's say that the table equals to two meters. The length of the table is two meters. So what does that mean? It means that it is one, it is 200 centimeters because one meter is equals to 100 centimeter so two meters will be equal to 200 centimeters and so on let's see let's say that you want to measure the length of a carpet the carpet of your room it's big it's a big carpet and it measures three meters how much will three meters be in centimeters it will be 300 centimeters and so on this is a point that you really need to understand that one meter equals a hundred centimeters this is very important for you to know okay now look at this clip this clip right here look at this clip how much is it in centimeters it is small we if you if you can find a clip at home or you already know you've seen this they are small they're not big so to measure this we need a ruler which is small a ruler will be enough to measure a clip and here is the ruler. We're going to use the centimeter side of the ruler. So a clip is equals to five centimeters. When we use a ruler, we have to place the object in the zero. It has to start in the zero. You place the object right here on the zero and then you measure. Okay, how much is it? It ends right here. It ends here in the five so it is five centimeters this is how you use a ruler so you use centimeters to measure shorter objects and you use meters to measure longer objects this paper clip is about five centimeters let's see now we're gonna ha have two tasks you can just do task number one or task number two. Let's do them together. Now, in this page, in page 685, you have the picture of these objects. I have the book with me as well. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to grab my ruler and my book. I'm going to measure all of these objects and you do so as well. You're gonna do the same okay so you're gonna start you're gonna place the ruler you're going to place your ruler here right here the zero of your ruler should be at the beginning of the object here is where you're going to place the ruler on your book you're gonna place the zero of the ruler right at the beginning of the object okay so you do that pause this video do it i'm going to do it as well and then we're going to check our answers 
All right, that was fun. I really liked measuring these things. So let's see, I already got my answers. Let's check together. I placed my ruler here. I put the zero of my ruler right here at the beginning. And then I measured and when I stopped, the number I saw was 10, 10 centimeters. So this object measures 10 centimeters. Now here, I place my ruler right here. I put the zero right here. And then when I measured, I found out that this, this object measures five centimeters. Oh, oh, no, no, it is not five. It is three centimeters. Then I measure this object. Same thing. I started with the zero right here. And when I measured, I found that this object is five centimeters. And the last one, same thing. I put my ruler right here, the zero of my ruler right here. I measured it and I found out that it measures four centimeters. This is my finding. Here, four centimeters. These were my findings. Were yours the same? I hope so, guys. If they weren't, just double check. Use your ruler again and get, make sure these objects were measuring the same. Or remember, use the centimeter side. Let's do the next, the next task. For task number two, we have to do the next page, but now, we also need to use the meter, the meter stick or the meter tape that you have at home. But now, here we have two things. It says estimate, estimate the length. And when you estimate is what you think, just by looking at it, is not an accurate measurement. So that means that take a pencil, take any pencil at home, look for a table at home, and a Kleenex box. We all have Kleenex boxes at home. We're going to measure these objects, but before we measure them, we're going to estimate about how many centimeters the pencil that I have measures. About what? So give a guess. Maybe I can guess. Okay, my pencil is 10 centimeters. And then I make sure by using the ruler if it is actually 10 centimeters. So now I'm estimating, okay, my pencil is about 10 centimeters just by looking at it near the ruler, not right next to the ruler. My pencil is about 10 centimeters. Now let me actually measure it. Let me now get my ruler and measure the pencil that I have. And actually the real measurement is... 11 centimeters but I'm doing this with my pencil what about yours do this with your own pencil same thing with the table we all have tables at home but maybe they are different measurements yours is different than mine so you have to pause the video and go find a table measure it same thing with the box of Kleenex, of tissue. The tissue box, almost the same all over the world. So for the tissue Kleenex, the tissue box, I am going to give the answer. And for the table, you have to find your own table and measure it. All right, so pause the video, do that, and then continue with the video. Yala, come on, let's go, it. let's do it, go. Okay, so the table I found in my house was about one meter. It is about one meter. And then that's what I thought when I measured it with my measuring tape, it was actually, yes, it was about one meter. Now, the tissue box. We all have tissue boxes. Most of the tissue boxes are the same size. When I saw it, I said, okay, this tissue box, my ruler is, I'm having a ruler of 30 centimeters. 
I was thinking that my box is about 25 centimeters. And when I measure it and I put the ruler at the beginning of the box and the zero, and then I saw that the last number was actually, yes, it was 25 centimeters. These were the measurements that I found in the objects in my house. I think that we all will have similar answers as well. Okay, guys. Now, for closure, before I say goodbye for math, you need to get your ruler and go around your house and find objects that are about five centimeters long. Okay, you can spend about five minutes doing that. See how many objects you can find that are about five centimeters long. This is like an object hunt. So you can have fun while doing this. Thank you so much for today's lesson and bye-bye.